Hello students, I hope you are doing fine. We've been looking at bearing. Uh, let's do this example. It's an exam question. 2017 GCE paper 1. It says A, B, C are three points on the level ground. B is on a bearing of 70 from A, you can see. There. Then they are saying and C is on a bearing of 130 from B. So they are saying calculate the bearing of a from b when they say bearing like i said they just mean calculate the angle at which you'll be able to see place a from b that's what they mean so if where you coming from you are coming from b so you stand on b now since b is here like i said you draw the north pole which is which has already been drawn for you a from b so we are we are moving clockwise like this from where the north pole is all the way up to where line a is Okay, so the angle that we are looking for is this, this whole angle here. Now, remember we did, we looked at properties. We, we, we looked up at, uh, at the Z property. We also looked at the angles in a straight line. So, when you extend this line here, just a minute. When you extend this line here, the North Pole. The North Pole will always give you a 90 degree angle. That's the fact. It's what, a 180. So, if I extend it like that, this from here, up to here alone here becomes a one, 180 degree angle then because of the z property if you remember mm, let me use another color because of the z property if you remember we have a z here okay that means this angle is equal to this angle here so here i have 70 now i know that the this angle here up to here is 180 i have 30 so i need to find this angle so I need to subtract this angle here from 180 to give me 50. So the total angle I want is the whole angle now from there to there, which will be 30, 130, okay, which will be 130 plus 50 plus 70 to give us 250 degrees. That's how you find it. I hope it has made sense to you. You first divide this. You use the Z property. This angle, this angle, they are opposite. So this one is equal. Because I've made a straight line, this one becomes a 180 angle. Now I need this angle here. Because this is 130, I'll remove 130 from 180. Give me 50. Then I'll, that's my whole, my whole angle. Then method two on how you can find this is this. You remember I talked about the parallelogram law, right? The angle we are looking for is the whole angle from there to there. Okay. Now since that's the angle that we are looking for, we know that this is a parallelogram. Okay. When I do this, that becomes a parallelogram. And the properties of, of a parallelogram says that this angle here and this angle here, they add up to 180. So I'm going to say, I first need to find this angle here. Once I find this angle here, then I'll remove it from, remember angles in a circle, they add up to 360. And I have something like this. I'm looking for this part here. So if I have this part, I can remove this part from 360 and I'll remove this part here. So I'll say this angle plus this angle here, they give me 180. So I'll say B will be equal to 180 minus 70. That will give me 110 degrees. Now since I know that I have 110 here, there, I can now remove this 110 from 360. So this will be 360 minus 110 that to give me 250 degrees method two then b b says b from c okay b from c so b from c so we are standing from c so we draw a north pole from c because that's where we are coming from so the angle that we're looking for is all there from the north pole clockwise up to the line where b is so we're looking for the O of that angle. Let me just draw it properly. So we're looking for the O of this angle here. Now, because remember we divided this, okay? We had 50 here. We had 70 here. This is forming a Z, a Z as well with this line here. So even this angle here is 50. Now, since I know that the O of this, when I add, should give me three skis, eh? the bearing of B from C will just be 360 minus 50 since I already have that. 
and this will give me three hundred and ten degrees hope that has made sense see you in the next video